You see what I'm dealing with? Hello everybody, my name is Kaya and today I'm going to be going through my closet part two. If you haven't seen the first one already, you know, you can check that out after this video if you want. If you don't want to, then that's fine. I'll go f Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and do my purses first because I'm gonna have to try on these dresses and well, I don't have to, but we're gonna talk about that when we get to it. And if you wanna just see me trying on clothes, I'll put a timestamp because I need the watch time, let's be honest. Okay, let's begin. So first things first, what's right next to me? This is my little pink, I don't know what it's called. It goes around my waist in a fanny pack. Got it. And I wear this at like festivals and stuff. So yes, I'm keeping this for sure. The next purse that I have next to me is this beautiful, beautiful piece. It's this license plate purse and I've never worn it before, but it's made with rubber too. It's so cool. It's such a cool purse. It's gonna be like a little statement piece that I have when I have it. You'll know, you'll know when you know when it comes, when the time comes. The next piece that I have is this Vera Bradley purse. And I am just going to say it now. I love elephants, but I don't like Vera Bradley anymore. So it's time to part with it. Peace out baby you won't be loved but there's something in here i can feel it piece of a vape this is the i cannot tell what this is bad packaging but it's the one that opens with a button right here and it goes like this oh that's the top can you open it? there you go like that yeah now i got walter white oh, i'm gonna go clean this vape too so i got it all over me oh my god also vera bradley that i'm okay to part with is this wallet that i have to clean out because cute though but not for me not for me this is just a little bag like a tote that i got with my braces my liners that i need to wear again because i stopped wearing my retainer and now you can see like my tooth went back behind my tooth and it bothers me but like nobody cares about me you know so like i'm gonna this is another tote bag you're gonna notice a pattern here i like bags but like this one it's corduroy and it's so cute. And I don't exactly know what I would put in here when I carry whatever, but I know the time will come. The time will come. Now, people are gonna hate on me for this. I don't really care because honestly, I don't think that I'll ever buy an actual Louis Vuitton bag, but don't quote me on that. I might one day if I'm feeling ballsy after everyone's paid for and taken care of and got all my friends taken care of. This is a Louis Vuitton knockoff little duffel bag. I carry around the wallet every day because it's just my wallet. I don't care. Um, but it makes me look bougie and I like that even though it's fake. But it doesn't really, I mean, it looks fake, but like, it, you know, there's no justifying this bag. I bought a fake bag, but I won't buy a real bag. Maybe. We're gonna continue. Now this bag I freaking love. I don't exactly know where I'm gonna wear this or how because it's huge. It's huge. But it's an Ed Hardy bag and it hasn't been taken care of. It's just been in my closet. Um, but it's literally ginormous. I think I'm gonna put other bags in here so that it doesn't bend and fold like that. But it's so pretty. It's got this on this side and 13 is my favorite number so also my lucky number so. This came home with me, obviously. This is a bag that I think I can part with, mainly because I don't think I'm a fan of it anymore. It's just this little um, knitted black bag. It's tiny. Oh, yeah, there's nothing in here. I've never used it. So, fill in that bad boy. This bag is so cute. It's a heart. Now, I don't know if I'm just gonna use this for decoration or if I'll ever actually wear this bag. This has been like a decoration piece in my house for a while now. I haven't displayed it in a while, obviously, because it's not in a part anymore. It's not been stuffed in a while, but this bag is literally so cute. There's pockets and everything in here. Like, I could definitely wear this piece. And like, when it looks like a heart, it really looks like a freaking heart. It's so cute. Cute. This is probably my first purse ever, and I think it's so cute still, to this day. Do I still want to keep it? Kind of. Now, I'm gonna put these all in a special place, but you know, you already know. I'm gonna go put these in my car because I always forget them in my house. My bags, you make a pile right here. Now, this is another tote bag from Vera Bradley. I thought this was cute in the moment, and now that I'm wise, I don't like it. So, we're gonna sell it. This piece is probably gonna be my new staple. 
piece. I need to start carrying this, honestly. It matches my hair. Um, this is my Clark's bag and wallet. It comes with a matching wallet. It's literally so cute. I'll probably switch to that tonight because, you know, you guys, green is my favorite color, if you don't know. So the next bag I have is just a backpack. Um, I got this when I went on a field trip, I guess. Yeah, it's like a field trip. I went to England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. And I have recorded all of it. I actually vlogged all of it. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments. I was 17 when I recorded that video, so I'm gonna look a little different. I know I had blonde hair, but I have all that footage still. If you wanna see those videos, I just didn't get around to doing it because life smacked me in the face and it wasn't nice. It wasn't, it wasn't. But this bag, I think, can I have one? We're gonna try. This is one of my favorite purses ever. I will never be getting rid of her. She is my first backpack purse that I ever had. And I saw her at my second job, my first consignment job that I ever had. And I knew it. My mom actually took that purse for me when I got in trouble when I was 17 for like six months. Actually, up until I turned 18 and moved into this house, I'd still not seen that purse. And I was like, mom, I need my purse. Like, I moved out and everything. Can I please have my purse back? Yeah. She knew that's how I would change my ways. I was a bad kid. We would have to get into that. I was not a good kid. But I'm like, you wouldn't expect that from me now. I'm so like chill. Back in the day, I was bouncing off the walls. And I don't know exactly, I don't, I don't know. We will get into it. You're not here for that. You're here for purses. This is my Tommy Hilfinger purse. I think I'm gonna keep her. Just because I really like backpack purses, you guys. It's my thing. It's my thing. This one is a seatbelt purse. So we're keeping her as like a statement piece because I fucking love this bag. Are you kidding me? That's genius. It's so cute. Now these two purses are very special to me. My mom got them for me in Thailand. So this one is like a statement piece. Um, it's just this little orange circle bag and it's cute. It's got room on the inside and this gold chain. And then this one is elephants and it's so cute. It says Thailand and it's just adorable. So we love her. I've never worn her yet, but like I said, they're statement pieces and I haven't made any statements lately. I've been very quiet, but no more, no more. I am going to start voicing my opinions and becoming an actual member of this internet world, okay? Because I'm constantly watching everything and I have a fucking opinion, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know if everybody wants to hear it, but it's okay. That's what opinions are for. This is my Steve Madden bag. I'm gonna sell it. This is one of my first purses ever, and I think I'm gonna sell it. I love this purse, hand painted, it's really pretty. And then you open it up and there's a little compartment for like your money or whatever you wanna put in there. And then in the top part is the purse itself and it rolls up and it clicks back down in there. I thought that was really cute. Really, really, really cute. This next bag was a gift from some customer that I have. Um, thank you, Paula. Um, it's just a coach bag and it is old. It's vintage, but it's got like cigarette stains and stuff on it. So she said if I wasn't gonna sell it at the shop, it could be mine. And so I was like, right, that's okay. Thank you. Paula is also the doll who gave me this purse. Um, I love this purse. It's really, really pretty. And it's like the hand side as well. So this is a Betsy Johnson bag. It's just really, really cute. I have another Betsy Johnson purse in here. This is also really, really cute. We love her. I just think that this is gonna be for my business side. If you guys don't know, I'm in school right now for architecture. This is gonna be my fancy bag for when I am architect thank you that's what i'm going to school for right now and then i'm going to go get my master's from the university of kentucky and then take a break and then i'll go get my doctorate because i'm not doing that this is a cute little steve madden bag it's just black and white so cute so cute this is another steve madden bag this is the one i was recently carrying it's the same thing on the inside it's super cute this is going to be my ipad case for when I get an iPad. I've been using it for like to hold my pens and stuff. It will be an iPad case when I get my iPad. Thank you. This is my Vera Bradley backpack. I'm gonna sell her. This is like an Adidas. Why? Why? It's a bag. I don't remember. A duffel bag. Yes, it's a duffel bag. And so we love her. I don't know if 
I showed you this bag, but I guess I won't zip it up because this bag went through it and it wasn't the best quality. But this is my little Central Park brand bag. I got this in London and I have a little Blarney Castle chain on there. Been through it though. I don't even think it zips up anymore. This is a bag that I had in my family for a long time and it's broken so we gotta toss it, but goodbye. Here's the next bag I thought I would show you. It is a Kipling backpack purse. Um, I think we get the story. I love backpack purses. This is my pink backpack. I'm gonna sell her. This is my other pink backpack. I'm keeping her because I love my corduroy pink backpack. Um, this is my black pink backpack. I have two black ones honestly because they gave me an extra so imagine that there's two but i have to find the other one hmm, weird. this is my steve madden little backpack purse it's green and fluffy my boss gave me this as like a gift it's a little coach backpack purse super cute i got this at ulta one day as like a freebie it's this thing i carry my makeup in when i travel i got this part or backpack not a purse. I got this backpack to wear at like festivals and stuff so that I can bring a bag and have water and not pay for that shit every fucking second. This is a mesh bag, same deal, you know, a festival bag. This is a little tiny travel thing for a bag that I have over here, I believe. You know, one of these little organizers. I gotta hang up in my closet to get it all organized. Another one. I think I'm gonna sell these actually. Yeah, we're gonna sell them. I don't want them. This is for showering. I thought I was gonna go to a college and I didn't sell it. This is to pack underwear for and panties you see this is a tote bag i think i'll keep her it's a pink duffel bag it's broken but i'm gonna keep her anyway i love her this is a yoga backpack pretty cool i'm gonna keep it because i'm gonna get into yoga again we've got this bag this bag even though i've never dashed i just was going to and then i realized I make 13.6 miles per gallon. I am not door dashing. <laughs> this is a really cool bag. Is it open? No, it's closed. I'm gonna show you. Are you ready for this? This bag has like, it's like drawers. It's so cool. I love that bag. This is my little hiking bag. It's got a water bottle in there. This is my clutch. I have that, you know a girl's gonna have a clutch. It's black, so. This is one of those thingies that we agree to wear selling mode. My beach bag. These are going into the car. Into the car. We're gonna sell this because I'm tired of it. Tired of it. But I am going to the car. This is the bag I was thinking of earlier. It goes with this. I'm a Leo. So anything with tight like lines on it, I have to get them. Who do you think you are? This is another little travel bag that I have. It's got a matching thing, just like this lion bag in the inside. I won't show you if you don't care. This is a little dog carry thing. Um, I don't, I can't use it, but I eventually will use it. So now I don't have to buy one. And this is my laptop case. I have one big bag to show you, but like, do you want to see it? It's like a suitcase. You don't want to see it. It's black, it's shiny. I got two more suitcases in the closet. I didn't even grab because like, who wants to see my suitcases? Nobody. I'm gonna reorganize this and we're gonna start trying on some dresses, bitches. We're trying on some dress time. We have a visitor. What do you want? You're just staring at me. What do you want? I'm gonna hug and give you a hug first. I'm just gonna show you guys what she's doing. What are you doing? I'm recording video, Post. I record video. I give you love as afterwards. No. I give you. I give you love as after video. After video, go in there, post the verse. Go in there. You're probably thinking, Kaya, I can only see your neck. Yeah, cause I'm gonna stand up. Okay, so ignore the weird angle. It's at a very weird angle, but I'm gonna start trying on these dresses. And we're gonna start with this one. Super cute, super cute. I say this dress is really, really cute. I'm very, very glad that I got this. I like the little stomach hole in the back. It feels very nice. He makes my butt look good. So that's always a plus. You like her. We like her a lot. This dress is from Hans Mondi and it's a medium. Just in case you were wondering. So the next dress that I'm gonna do is this one. I showed you this in my last video this Arizona dress and I'm gonna put the overalls on top of it we're gonna see how it looks because you girls gotta know I've just been oh I've just been like thinking that it's gonna be pretty and watch it not be pretty you know so 
So like this dress already is super flattering. It makes me look really cute. I like it. Just maybe it's the rebels. I don't know. We're gonna put this on over top of it. We're gonna see how it looks. The moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Because I know you're watching. Okay. Tell me this isn't freaking adorable. It's just enough at the bottom to like still show the bottom of the dress. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. Okay, so now we gotta try on the other one. The green one, you know what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the dress that goes underneath the green one. This really pretty worn kind of white and gray dress. Cute, cute. Kind of boring by itself though, is it not? That's where this comes in to save the day. So I'm gonna put this bad boy on. I don't know, I don't think this is very cute. It's okay, the idea was fair. It's just the white is like just too short. But I can wear this dress by itself, and I can wear this with something else. No, this, this does not go together. I'm very excited to try this dress on, so we're just gonna start. Am I, am I snatched? Do I look amazing? What is this? Do I look amazing? What do we think about this dress? Is it exactly what I was imagining? Amazing? How does my ass look? Does it look good? It feels good. It feels really good. I'm very happy. I wanted to wear this dress for like my birthday, my 21st birthday, which is in August, in case you forgot. I know it's two months away, but you have two months to plan. Okay, so thank you. And we're about to keep trying on some more dresses because I feel like I'm happy. This just makes me look so good. And like, can't even see that I'm like, I'm puffing out right now. Like I've got my stomach pushed out and it's because of this right here. This I had to get a thumbnail, you guys, <laughs> in my stress. Okay, so the next dress on my to-do list is this one. And in the video, I think I said that I have the same dress, but I don't, they're just different variations of this strapless type dress. What do we think about her? Is she cute? It's like this black and gold dress. I feel very cute though, you know. Like I told you guys already, this is my graduation dress. I'll put it on for you right now. Crazy how beautiful this dress is. Like, it makes me feel like a princess. This dress is never leaving my closet. Cause it's gray. I picked the perfect dress. My mom was like, it's so revealing. I don't have boobs, mom. God. <laughs> See, this next dress is just a romper. Super cute, super cute, super cute. Um, something you'll know about me, I'm a bitch. A whole ass bitch for anything like tie-dye. Specifically black and gray. If you got black and gray tie-dye, just let me have it. Okay, so listen, hear me out. This next dress, it's supposed to have a shirt underneath it, so probably supposed to be cuter than this, but I think it's so cute. You think this is cute? I mean, is this cute? This is ugly. I don't know if I like these in the front, but I like the material, so maybe I can get rid of the button. No, no, I could get rid of the button, bitch. We gonna be getting rid of these buttons. This is exactly what I thought it was gonna be. A big overall dress. It's a dress. And I'm gonna paint in this. I have to readjust these because they're ginormous, but I don't want to right now. So. Our next dress is super, super cute. Another one of those strapless dresses. And then we're just gonna imagine it tied. Okay? Cause ain't nobody gonna tie this shit today. Okay, just gonna imagine it was tied. Imagine. Is it cute? You're probably not gonna be able to see the whole point with this one because you actually probably need a shirt. This is more like a skirt than a dress. Pretty sure it goes like this. And then this cute little skirt, this dress. Like I said, this is a Renaissance fair dress. So like, this isn't gonna be in my normal wardrobe. There, I felt a sneeze coming. But like, I can imagine this with like a corset top, like right here, right? This is really cute. I think this would be perfect for the Renaissance fair. This next dress I got in Thailand. Well, my mom did, I didn't go to Thailand. And it's beautiful, so cute, so cute. I love the mix of like different print everywhere. It's my thing, it's my style completely. I love it. And especially if it's like tied to my stomach, yes, bitch, please. This next dress is super, super cute. What do you think? Cute? Okay, we're gonna move on to the next dress. Here is our next dress. We're gonna have to untie it and use our imagination. My go-to romper, I think I said in my last video. I love this romper. It's literally so adorable. It's got these like bell-bottom-ish sleeves and pockets, bitch. You can't, you can't be like this is another little overall dress that's corduroy. This one has a little print on the bottom. See? It's really cute. Um, but you gotta put a shirt on or, I mean, I guess a bra would work. 
but it's kind of loose, so it'll be cold. I'll probably get a shirt on. Time to do this dress. How do we feel? Is she cute? I mean, it's a little big, but my boobs did shrink, so I should be getting some more up here soon, hopefully. I've been trying to gain weight for two years, you guys, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't try on clothes initially. Um, I can't get the zipper. But this is literally so cute. It's just a little beach jumpsuit, pantsuit, you know, you know the deal. But what I was saying, I have lost a lot of weight over the past quarantine and I just, I gotta say, I don't want to think that anybody thinks that I'm trying to advocate for this body. I know I look good, but I used to look a lot better when I had more weight on my bones and I don't want people to think that this look is okay. And if you look like me, I feel your pain and I I'm right there with you. I should make a whole video about the pros and cons of being skinny because it ain't fun sometimes. I mean, it is, but like, just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're perfect. You know what I mean? So, we're gonna keep trying on clothes, but I just had to get that out there that I'm not advocating for this. This. Okay? I don't. I, I have a thigh gap now, and I used to not. I used to chafe all the time, and so it's weird. I've been trying to gain weight for two years now, and I can't gain anything. So, here I am. We're gonna try these on and we're gonna give them another chance, okay? Because this is another full pantsuit that I have. And it's, I think, the only full pantsuit. No, I have two. So, this one, but it's very different than the other one. So, we'll just have to work. What do you think? Do we keep her? I like it. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. You get the picture? I live in Kentucky. You gotta have a pair of overalls, okay? Ripped overall. You like how the accent popped out? I don't know where. Oh, I can do the accent. I just don't like the accent. This next outfit is super cute. I've actually never tried it on, so I don't know if it'll fit me. I'm hoping so, cause it's really cute. And because I'm a princess, I don't care that I graduated in 2019, I am still a princess. We'll continue to live like a fucking princess. So. Okay, we're gonna have to use our imagination. I'm not zipping this one up all the way because it was rough, but I think it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm so glad I got this, yep, bitch. The next outfit that I have is super cute. I've never tried it on, but I bought it because I when you're this that's one of the pros of being tiny. If you see something you, you can just know that it'll fit. Oh, I don't really have to try anything on. Some things I do if I overestimate how tiny. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking Are you fucking kidding me? Do you see how cute this is? Oh my god! I'm not gonna tie it. Oh my god. I need to wear that. ASAP here is it like a dress. This dress is really pretty. Wow, it really makes my butt look good. Holy shit, this is so pretty. Going to a funeral like, okay, okay. I don't know how this one's gonna look. This dress is guess. It's kind of fancy. Big on me, but it's okay. Maybe I'll gain some weight. It's cute. It's so cute, yes. Is it cute? Hold on. Is it cute? Do you like her? Do you like her? Yes, no, maybe, so. Let me know. This dress is super cute. I think I've tried this on before. I don't remember. Might have, might have not. Is that not so adorable? It doesn't fit me because I'm tiny, but I'm gonna gain some weight. And when I gain weight, that'll be the cutest fucking thing you've ever seen. I like this dress. I think it's cute. Kind of like a whole spring vibe. Gotta have something with flowers on it in my wardrobe. Got a few things. This one's kind of casual. You have to have a casual dress. You don't have to, but like, you do. This dress is super cute. We're gonna try it on. I've never tried this one on before. Okay, what do we think? I mean, you can see my bra where I pulled it down. That's not supposed to be there. That's how the dress would actually look, you know, minus the shorts that you can see. How the dress would actually look. We like her. This is another jumpsuit that I have. I think it's super cute, super cute. You know the deal. I like this one. I like it at all. I go ahead and try on this little Christmas dress because I gotta know if I need a Christmas dress or since it's coming up and I wanna be prepared. Bitch, this is short. This is awfully short. And it's kinda tight, but like, it's really good. This next dress, I didn't know what it was at first, to be honest, because it looks like just a giant piece of fabric, but I ain't really gonna help me figure it out. That's the dress. I'm sure you can do something with this. I just fucking tied it in a knot. I don't know what to do with it, but it's kinda cute. It's like the beach or something. Very cool, but it feels very loose. That's good. This is going to be my Easter dress for next year. It fits. I haven't tried it on yet. And I think it's so cute. What in the fuck is this? Like, that is so uncomfortable. This dress is ugly as shit. Made for someone who's got some big ass titties, which I don't. I don't know how this is gonna fit anybody because that hurts my arm. I've got a noodle arm. And finally, our last and final dress. This dress is cute. It looks like a fairy. I think 
have a skirt. I think it's safe to say that the dress fits. I'm not too sure on how cute it is. Um, I'll probably have to have someone to tie it up. And then it's back here. It's like, what is this? I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this dress because it's a lot, but I feel like a fairy. So if it looks cute, give me a like. Let me know in the comments which dress was your favorite dress out of all of these. And as always, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay rad, you guys. Don't get abducted by aliens, okay? Because that doesn't sound like fun. And have an amazing day! Bye, guys!